Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today is part 3 of the Hardware ID login. Uh, it's probably going to be the final part of the series, but in this video, like I said last time, I'm just going to create the new little form, uh, which will be displayed if you're not off, um, displaying your hardware ID and stuff. So, I'm just going to create this new form, and we'll just call this, uh, just call this off, off form, and we'll create that. Um, we could add the little skin on for dev components, but I don't really have the time for that, so we'll just leave it like this for now. But pretty much, we want to change our little function a bit now, so when this gets loaded like this, um, we got our little check hardware ID function, so if we go to that, uh, instead of the application exiting, if we're not off, we're actually going to want to open our other form now. Uh, so we want to say auth form dot show and that'll be that for now so if we're not auth this is going to show up so when this shows up uh, in the load function here we need to double click this inside the load what we want to do is actually get the CPU again to display it we're going to remove it from uh, this form and place it into this one here. So if we go in here and get our little function out, which is get the CPU, so we'll copy all that and come in here and paste that in. Obviously, we want to call it when it gets loaded get CPU, and we got the errors, so remember we have to import system.management for them to go away. So that should all be working, and obviously we need to change these, but we'll do that in a second. So we could have a label here saying um, something like contact the owner with your ID, something like that. And then you'd have the text box which will display it. So if we quickly drag that in, uh, this is text box one, obviously. Um, so text box one is going to be equal to it. And we can remove the label, we don't want the label anymore. So that'll be like that. So when we load that, that should grab our CPU ID here and put it in there. So what we want to do here is instead of getting our CPU in this form now, we still want to get it, but what we want to do is hide it. So we'll display it to the label. So if we come in here, uh, sorry if this is a bit confusing, but if we go to the check hardware ID in this in the main one what we want to do is it's checking it it's going to display that if it's not and sorry wrong function here if we go into the get CPU <coughs> instead of displaying it to the text box we're going to display it to the label still but so we can just quickly remove that. The label is going to be invisible. So there's a func uh, a property in here which is visible. So let's just find this real quick. Uh, visible, right? So you could set that to false, and we'll just drag that out the way a little bit. We can see it in the form, but when it's loaded, you cannot see it. We'll just have that, let's say, down there for now. And that would be still displaying the CPU as well. So when this form's loaded, this is going to display our little ID like that. And if I open my Dropbox up and H the hardware ID, I'll copy that and remove it. Save that. <coughs> if I um, run this now what should happen is this little or form should sh appear because I'm not orfed. As you can see the little or form appeared because I'm not orfed um, and it's displaying our little icon here but the thing is they could still use the tool like it's still everything's usable so we need to stop that so if you close that there's lots of things to make this better but you could make this centered for one um, so I'll, I'll leave this for you to sort out yourself and make it look pretty but you can get the basic idea of how to display this um, so what you want to do if 
if this uh, form gets loaded, if this one's loaded, then obviously they're not off. So you want to lock this form. Uh, the way we do that is we come into form load and you just want to say form one dot tab control one uh, dot enabled is equal to false. Now what that will do is it will just it will lock the tabs so uh, the tab isn't actually usable and you'll see that now if I launch this up. See we got our little all form here. Um, and you and a thing you'll notice everything's locked like we want it to so they can't use the tool now but this goes behind the screen so we want to bring that to the front as well uh, the way we do that is we can just say uh, me dot bring to front like that and also th there's things you can do where you don't actually display this tool at all um, you just display the little war form uh, so we can launch that now I'm actually gonna put my CPU back in and I'll show you that it now works it, like the tool will just open and it won't be locked so you can see the tools open fine we can use it again but if I was to let's say remove myself again save that launch it back up what you'll see now is our little war form um, some reason I didn't even display did I save this file close that out and launch it back see how we got our little all form showing up now uh, so that's that really um, you can make this look as, n as nice as you like basically the concept is if they're not off this little thing will show so you can actually get their ID um, and then the tool will be locked so they cannot use it uh, so hopefully you can use your imagination you can do what you like if they're not off um, it's pretty much down to you so I hope you did enjoy the video this is probably going to be the last one of the two or the three sorry now um, yeah, so yeah if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time